안녕 everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and today I'm here in Ford Global City and please look for Mr. Jericho with more than 25 years of Ford experience only. We have the seventh generation of Ford Mustang GT and this is the higher variant which is the GT Premium and it is priced at 3,999,000 pesos. For me, it's worth every penny. What are the upgrades, what I like about it? In our channel, we say, Shijang. First of all, how do you distinguish the EcoBoost version versus the GT Premium? First, when you go to the back in the trunk area, you'll see the GT letterings. But if you're in the front, you can see that there is a divider right here, signals that this is a GT the hood vent and this one has a stripe but this was done by auto hub group so if you want this please do purchase it here in auto hub it looks performance it looks sharp this area although it's not carbon fiber i'm sure there are plenty of aftermarket parts the good news is the seventh generation of mustang has six millimeters higher ground clearance than the predecessor and just look at the tire it's so nice in this pirelli the sizes in this p0 255 40r19 for the front wheel and we have a different size at the back this has a 275 40r19 because this is a rear wheel drive you will need wider tire such as this it goes far beyond the word powerful you have to drive one test it out before we didn't have brembo brake system at the back now we have brembo brake system for the front and the back it's sad that i couldn't attend the track day because i was in korea but hopefully we can borrow and test it soon and the gas cup is located here at the back on the left and with easy fuel you can use wow surprising 91 octane very good size of trunk you know this is one of those livable sports cars out there that you can really live with every day with subwoofer here some tie downs and uh easter egg is it shows all generation of mustang and until the seventh there just in case you get stuck or you get kidnapped. Another Ford Mustang, here, none. The tail lamp, before it used to be flat. Now it has a lot of sharp edge. Looks even more scary now. And when you go under, reverse lamp, parking sensor, and the crazy exhaust pipes that I will let you listen again. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> For the performance, it has 493 PS, 567 newton meters of torque, mated to 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, this is a rear wheel drive with limited slip differential. So, it is a brutal car, but also a safe car. Now, let's see what's under the hood. Boom. <laughs> Wow, the engine strut says Mustang here, the V8. I can't wait to drive this thing. What a car. Wow, what a long hood, very long hood. Most probably Auto Hub will bring the, the kit or the Shelby here. Perfect. Wow, I can look at this uh, light show all day. And what's interesting is there are lights here just to really accentuate the separated grill and the light show also happens at the back let's see the demo of the light show of the rear mustang badge and we're gonna go inside we have a keyless entry system blind spot warning very easy to get in and out frameless window yeah very similar to what we know even the chrome here and the buttons and this one illuminates Recaro seats. It's in manual, but uh, since it's Recaro, it doesn't have cooled seats. The Mustang sports pedals and the steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. Comes with paddle shifter, like a carbon accent with the Mustang again. Okay, the animation. There. There's a Mustang there. You cannot see it well because of the protective film, but this exact location is where the Mustang is. It's in orange, orange. The steering wheel in carbon fiber design with leather wrap, flat bottom, 
ADA system, it has everything almost the same as how the Bronco looked like. But thankfully, we have a stock here and also another stock here, unlike the Bronco. Huge screen with a little bend here. And the sound is coming from Bang and Olsen. Now, this is a very practical sports car and even the sun visor can extend. You see? The headliner is all black. It even retains the sunglass case, frameless auto dimming room mirror, Bang & Olsen speaker. Now this one, it looks like a cherry Tigo design, right? It looks like a cherry Tigo 5-7 design. Carbon accents. There's a Mustang. Oh, so the silver accents are not the buttons. The entire thing is a button, but there's a blank here. It kind of presses on everything, but let's see if it's accurate. Volume dial, type C, type A, and the 12 volt, and the charge pad, and a place for your coins. The gear lever, Purundum, same, same lettering as the Bronco. This is an e-brake that you can also use for you to use it as a real handbrake just when you want to drift the car. Cup holders, glove box, it says Mustang there, airbags are everywhere, bucket seats, they look great. And then what we should do now is to start the car. Please do subscribe before watching even more. So put on the brake. Oh yeah active headlights like i just saw it go down up and down oh it does take a while for the infotainment screen to actually start similar ui with bronco so we don't have physical air condition buttons here it does take a while for the aircon to come on so right now what mode are we in right now we're in their normal sport track drag strip slippery and custom and what's nice about this one is that unlike the broncos dial type you can go back to the first one without going back to the previous one do you understand there there's a mustang also but that looks like the previous generation than the current one okay what happens if we press the pony oh there you go my Mustang. Oh, this one makes the Mustang quiet. Normal exhaust, sport exhaust, track exhaust, track apps, drift brake. For track use only, your drive mode will change to track. No. Brake performance. So after you go 100, it will brake on its own. So it will test the brakes. Crazy. You also have for the 200. Lap timer. Track one, start, there. The moment you press OK here, then it will start to record. Let's press OK. There, it's happening here, not here. Okay, so when you press OK, it stops and it goes to the second lap. Amazing. How the air condition will behave. There, it's very similar. Oh, it has a 3D, there you go. You can, if you can see your building here, it means you're living in a very, premium building and my house is not even there since this is a car made to go straight it doesn't have 360 camera so you just have to be really careful about it anyway it's very straightforward you can see what's happening around you but i just wish it had a front camera and behind the room mirror there's a a type usb for your dash cam perhaps so normal sport track Calm. Fox body 87 to 93. Wow, it really reminds me of the older cars before where they would have different color also, not just orange, but this one in green. But I believe you can also change the color for this. We also have ambient lighting. We can change it to color blue. There, wow. And also there. Wow, 
it's not only Mercedes that has this. We're still in the quiet, silent mode. But... Ah, it's so addicting. Very much addicting. The center console, you can put the pen, 12 volt, coins, easy trip. The lights in sequential mode. Even that side is turning orange. There, rear fog lamp, sequential turn signal. I like it very much. The Mustang makes a unique sound whenever it wants to warn you. I hope you can hear it. Auxiliary gauges. So it shows the G. Inlet air temperature, transmission oil temperature, vacuum. Wow, air fuel ratio, cylinder head temperature. What the heck? And this is the reverse camera. Yon, with sensors at the back. And trash. And it also has guided tracking lines. And you can also zoom in. Yeah, but you cannot move around. And that's what I think of the seventh generation Ford Mustang GT. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do contact Mr. Jericho here in Ford Global City. And I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true, everyone.